What is going on everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Exploring. Today we are at the Disneyland Resort once again for the Halloween time festivities. We're gonna have some fun today. This is the first time of the Halloween time stuff. Haunted Mansion Holiday, Guardians of the Galaxy Monster After Dark, and all the Halloween decorations. Let's go have some fun. The Halloween time. This is kicking off our Halloween time season of festivities. So let's go have some fun. And how we know it's already the Halloween time season, look, they have the different character themed pumpkins up there. We got Goofy, Mickey, Pluto right over here with his giant mouth. Minnie's over there, Donald's over there. I can't wait. We're gonna head right to Haunted Mansion Holiday and grab a fast pass right away. And from wait times on the app, it doesn't appear to be a very crowded day today, so this should be good. Look at the Halloween time theme maps. There's Mickey Minnie in front of the giant. Mickey Pumpkin, which is right over here on Main Street. Let's go get a close-up of it. And there it is, the giant Mickey Pumpkin. And as we pan down to the left, we see all the different Halloween time decorations. All these little banners up here, the ones on the light poles. Oh, I'm so excited. It's Halloween time already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go snag a fast pass for Haunted Mansion Holiday and we're going to go dive into Galaxy's Edge and see how the crowds are doing over there on a Friday afternoon. It is ejected just did turn noon, so let's see how the crowds are doing over there. And this is why we're going to get a fast pass because the line is kind of long right now. Because this is the time where Haunted Mansion is very packed. Let's go grab a fast pass. And this line over here, no it is not the Haunted Mansion Holiday extended queue, it is actually the line to get the theme popcorn buckets. So they have Oogie Boogie theme popcorn buckets and different Halloween theme popcorn buckets. That's what everyone's waiting for over here. But you know what? I figure the line's only 25 minutes, or at least it says it is. So we got a fast pass for three o'clock and then we're gonna ride it twice. So we're gonna go wait for it right now. Got some pumpkins up there creeping right behind the trees on the roof of the mansion. One looks like he's screaming and one looks like he's happy slash sad. I don't know. Just got off Pony Mansion Holiday and wow. I mean, I love Pony Mansion Holiday. It's typically the same every year, but there's always one major difference, and that is the giant gingerbread house, the dining scene, the dining room scene. That gingerbread house is amazing. I like how they stay true to the 50th anniversary theme. It is one of the biggest that I've seen. It's really cool. What did you think of the gingerbread house? I thought it was really cool. I thought it was cooler than last year. It's definitely bigger. Like very, nice. very much larger scale. So if you guys want to see a full walkthrough of the Haunted Mansion Holiday for this year, make sure to check that out. It's already up on my channel. I did a full, or not walkthrough, uh, POV. I'm thinking about Halloween Horror Nights spaces. 
But I did a full ride through POV on my channel. Go click the link in the description. It's already on my channel. Go check it out. Haunted Mansion Holiday is great, and I'm happy that it's back. Now let's go to a galaxy far, far away. Back to Batu. Made it back into Galaxy's Edge. Rise of the Resistance. Still not open, but they have installed the little fast pass thing to scan your phone for the fast pass. Rise of the Resistance opens on January 17th of next year. Oh, we're here. We're here at Galaxy's Edge. Not too packed either. And here's Chewie right here. Looks like he's doing some work for the Resistance right now. Look at how empty it is here in the Black Spire Outpost. And they're playing my favorite music, which if you guys didn't know, you can get Oga's Cantina's or DJ Rex's full soundtrack on Spotify now for free. Or wait, they play monthly, but I've been in here about six times now and I'm still heavily impressed by the theming of Galaxy's Edge. And every time I come in here for the next few years, I'll probably still be heavily impressed. 20 minute wait? I think so. It's a prime example of how slow Disneyland is today. It's 1 o'clock. 20 minute wait. Let's go get on the Falcon. This is definitely a 20 minute wait. We're just basically walking right through the line. Stormtroopers are patrolling the area right now. And posing for pictures. Well, unfortunately we didn't get pilot, but we got gunner and engineer. Mm -hmm. Also, they mixed up our whole crew boarding oh process gosh, yes. a the lot. The guy told us that we missed our flight crew, like, mm -hmm, honey, like you did your job wrong. Yeah, I don't, I don't get why. They, it was so hard for them to, because they give out two blue crews, like, in, in a row, so it made it very confusing. Oh, look at Kylo. Move aside. Oh, he told me to move aside. All right, we're going to move on out of Galaxy's Edge back into normal Disneyland. But like I said, still nobody around this area. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. It's really nice. And, like, I mean, Depot right now is dead. I mean, it's not nice for Disneyland because <laughs> they're losing money, but it's but nice for us guests. They have plenty of money. It's nice for us guests to yeah. enjoy this slowness of Galaxy's Edge and the Disneyland Resort in general. Alright, so it's about 2 o'clock right now. We're going to walk over to Big Thunder Mountain and see what the wait time is for it. And that will get a more clear view on how slow it is here today. Because Big Thunder Mountain is more of a popular attraction. 10 minute wait? I think so. What a perfect wait time for 2 o'clock in the evening today. They don't even have this whole like little wraparound extended to open because of the short wait time. We literally just went down the ramp and now we are approaching this area where we make left and split into two lanes and we go right up to the loading station. Very very nice day to here at Disneyland. And it surprises me because since it is the first day of the Halloween festivities I think there'd be a lot more people but that's not the case today. Look at the pumpkins and the trees and the lights that are already lit up even though it's still sunlight outside. I'm sure tonight they'll all be lit up. And tonight we're going to be watching the Halloween themed fireworks, fireworks show. Fireworks show because typically they have it during Mickey's not so scary, but now they have it during the normal Disneyland operating hours because the Halloween party is over at DCA this year and that begins on the 17th. It's called Oogie Boogie's Bash. And we'll actually be there on October 1st checking out the Oogie Boogie Bash. Catch me there. But tonight we're going to be checking out the Halloween themed fireworks. And I've never seen them before, believe it or not. So that should be cool. Yeah, it's all decked out for Day of the Dead in here, too. Making our way into Mickey's Toontown to see the Halloween decorations that they have up in here. I know they have a couple. Actually, I don't see any at all. That's a different. Last year they had the banners, but it appears that they don't have any. Now I'm curious to see if they're going to be putting them out throughout the season, but you'd think that they'd already be out. I guess they're doing no Halloween decorations at all in here. I mean, like, there's typically those orange banners everywhere, but not this year. That's really weird. Hmm. Kind of strange, am I right? Yeah. Kind of strange. But Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is coming very soon in that back corner area. I'm curious to see if they're going to destroy this area, like this whole like building right here, to make way for the entryway. 
Zen Tour Racing is kind of big. It's the Al El Capitoon Theater. What you did find, however, is this food guy at one of the merch stands, or one of the restaurant stands. What these food guys are is it tells you all of the different themed foods that they have for Halloween. Uh, both Disneyland is the orange side, and then California Adventure is the purple side. And yeah, they have a little hotel section as well. I'm going to try one of these themed food things or drink items by the end of the day. I can guarantee that. So will I. But I'm pretty sure they have them available at every food location if you just go up and ask. Like the one over here in Toontown, they just had sitting there on the counter. Just ask the nearest cast member at one of these food locations and I'm sure they have them. In the and we have made our way back into the hub where we can see Oogie Boogie protecting his tortilla. Did you know that every year he comes out during the Halloween season to protect his tortilla? Really? That one tortilla right in front of DCA, he comes out to protect. But this year, I'm sure he's pretty happy because he's having an Oogie Boogie bash. We're All going, right? aren't we? Yeah, like I said in the earlier clip. But I'm sure he's happy protecting his tortilla up here this year. And the fact, oh, oh, he's talking. He's telling everybody that he's protecting his tortilla. Let's go inside DCA, check out all the decorations. Over at DCA, it's a little bit different. They have purple banners everywhere, as opposed to orange over in Disneyland. As we come into Five and Dine, we have tons of Halloween merch, which I showed off in our last video here at Disneyland, so make sure to go check that out on our channel already. The Headless Horseman has returned to Disney's California Adventure and is a rightful spot. Do you know what's missing from up there? What was bat, there last the year? Yeah, no, like all the bats that were flying out there last year. Hmm, I wonder if they were just like putting off decorating this until Oogie Boogie kicks off or what? But then again, Disneyland didn't have the Toontown decorations, so kind of weird. Maybe a limited decorations this year? Who knows? Oh, let's make our way down to Monsters After Dark though. Look at Hollywood Land decked out with all the bat banners and such. Oh yeah, we need to go to go to, go to Smoochies, or <laughs> as Savannah calls it, but we're, it's called Smoochies. We're gonna get the mini Halloween treat. It's like a drink, I believe. I don't know what flavor it is or anything, but it looks satisfying, so we're gonna get it. And the little mystery project is now done. Okay. This new style sign that advertises Mickey's Philhar Magic. And you can, I believe, just walk right in there. Oh, this is more of a greater entrance. Yeah, that's, I like that. It'll draw more people in, hopefully. The Philhar Magic really hasn't been bringing that much guests in as it's come to DCA over here. And here it is. This is called the Mini Witch Shake. It is mint chocolate chip with whipped cream, M&Ms, and mini bow and everything, and Oreos. I'm gonna taste this. I'm gonna give you guys my review on what I think about the Mini Witch Shake, which you can get at Schmoozies. What do you think of it? I think it's very good. I didn't, the chocolate bow on top is very, very sweet. I the think whip, the whole thing is sweet. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> like, the whipped cream's good. I don't like this outer coating stuff. That's just me. It's just because it's kind of hard to eat, yeah, like, unless you look at it. Like the roller coaster thing. Wow. Me, personally, <laughs> I don't like mint chocolate chip, but this was very, very delicious for oh, mint chocolate right, chip. I really yeah, right, dig it. Um, the last one we had, which was like, it was, I think it was just Oreos, right? It was just cookies and cream, yeah. It was cookies and cream, and that was for get your ears on. But this one, I think I like this one a little bit more. Just a tad. I also like the purple whipped cream. It tastes like normal whipped cream, but I mean, it's purple, so it's cooler. Now we're waiting in line for them to open up Monsters After Dark, which is the Halloween theme overlay for Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Everything's all blinking red and everything. Everything's getting all crazy in here because the monsters are taking over. Oh, I'm so excited. This is probably one of my favorite overlays here at Disneyland. Or DC because you know, they don't have Ghost Galaxy anymore this year, so. What are you guys still doing here? Tour's over! The cages are open and the creatures are loose! You gotta get out of here! Wait! Don't get out of here! I could use a hand. My little pal Groot is lost in the fortress somewhere, and I need to find him before he gets in. I found his tiny little heat signature, see? All those other heat signatures are... Well, don't worry about that. Listen up. 
You guys can be a big help while I look for my pal. A gantry lift full of warm terrans makes a really great distraction. I just need you to wave your arms, scream, whatever it takes. And well, I indeed did really miss Monsters After Dark. Such a great overlay. I love Monsters After Dark. And the heavy metal music really gets your energy pumping. Especially when you have a good cast member. What was his name? Carson? I, I think his name was Carson. When you get a good cast member to interact with you um, after the ride and before the ride, it makes the ride experience way more better. So shout out to Carson, the cast member, working at Guardians of the Galaxy today. What What did you think of it? Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Hold on, go to the Oh my the god, side. it's so, so bright? See. Okay. Right here. It's golden hour. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's sunny hour. What do um, you think? I really liked it. It was really fun. And yeah, I mean, it's spooky, it's spectacular. It's just a Halloween movie. I like the music, you know. It's just it's a so Halloween movie. Very well. Well, I'm look at the camera. But now we're going to go to Cars Land to check out their Halloween decorations and such. Look at Daisy Duck in her witch costume. Meet and greet and guests. Traveling into Cars Land where the Halloween decorations have returned. What about it? Oh, okay. But the decorations here in Cars Land have returned. And the overlay of Mater's Great Guard Jamboree has a return too. It's nothing new, it's just different music. But they do do a good job at decorating the entrance area of it. And at night, this looks 10 times better. I don't know if we'll come back here later at night, but if you guys have the chance, check it out at night. Because when it's all lit up and everything, it looks beautiful. So all the cones here in Cozy Cone Hotel have spooky jack o lantern stickers on them. As well as the one right out here. And Lightning McQueen, superhero Lightning McQueen, is meeting and greeting guests out here. Very spooky stuff out here. Even the lobby's decked out with little jack o lantern cones. Ah, uh, yes, the Leaning Tower of Tires is all decked out in orange, spooky jack o lantern tires as well. And as you can see, I mean, it doesn't really show good over here in the daytime, but at night, floors will be all lit up in Halloween lights and such. And over here at Ramones, we got more Day of the Dead themed stuff. It's where all the, it's a Day of the Dead themed car right in front. And also Luigi's Rockin', Rollickin' Roadsters is themed to Luigi's Honkin' Halloween. Look, we can see that the fire station of Radiator Springs is, is looked to be a face because at night there's projections on the windows and such, like eyes and everything. That was one of my favorite things about Cars Land. Cars Land has to be one of the best themed lands here during the Halloween time. We're gonna get on Luigi's right now for this 10 minute wait, but look, the tires are formed in the shape of pumpkins. That's so cool. Anything else themed in here to Halloween? I think that'd be the only thing. Yep, it appears to be. Look, there's us. I guess Luigi is a mad scientist of tires. And Guido is a ghost? A kidnapper of tires. So you just tried the, what was it? The mac and cheese Halloween thing. It was from the one of the cozy cone little food kiosk. It was basically what? It was it was food it was, colored bread. Wait what? It was food colored bread. Yeah, it was black bread with like spicy mac and cheese and then it said like how do I like grinded up like hot Cheeto puffs? Like that type of stuff on top. What did you think of it? It was horrible, don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the bread was good. I tasted the bread, but I didn't want to taste the tone. It was not. Like, so what would you give out of 10? A three. A three, so not worth the money. Everything's getting a little bit spookier here in DCA as the sun has set. With all the cool lighting and everything. And now, we're traveling over to Disneyland to 
try to get a spot for the fireworks. Hopefully it's not too packed. It's gone packed here as the sun has set. So I'm hoping that's not the case with the Disneyland firework crowd, but whatever the best view that we're gonna get is what we'll just have to deal with. Let's head on over to Disneyland. Look at Main Street, all lit up and pretty. We're heading directly straight to that castle. To go wait in the general area so we get the best viewing for the fireworks tonight. We've got our spot for the Halloween Spooktacular Fireworks. I believe they're called Halloween Scream. I can't wait to see what the Halloween fireworks have to offer. Like I said, I've never seen it before. So this will be a first for me. I'm excited.
and that does it for this video wow those halloween time fireworks are amazing like i said first time seeing them absolutely amazing i love them i'm definitely gonna check them out again this halloween season if you want to see more disneyland related videos and more halloween time season videos make sure to click that subscribe button down below with those bell notifications on make sure to check out our website socalexploring.com for more detailed theme park updates and haunted attraction news and lastly visit our social medias at socalexploring media on instagram and at socalexploring on twitter i've been scott and you've been watching socal exploring Halloween time is just around, well, it actually is around the corner already. Today marked our first Halloween time thing slash event at the Disneyland Resort, and it was a good way to kick it off. So if you want to see more, like I said, subscribe. Positivity is key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace. Everybody, everybody.